So all of that means that we've been able to punch above our weight from a small company and get noticed. So I've been thinking like an adult, and now it's time for us all to sort of put our pirate hats on and our astronaut costumes and princess uh, dresses on and things like that, and think a little bit like a toddler. What are those steps of success that, from a toddler's point of view? And learn some business lessons from my heroes, who should be all of our heroes. So the first one, really, is this idea of never giving up. Now, we were all toddlers, and none of us could walk when we were babies and toddlers. Yet over the two, two years, two or three years, um, from one to three, we all learned to walk. And we may have fallen over 500 times, and we may have cut our lips and bruised our noses and cried, but none of us gave up. And that's not just talking about somebody else when we're thinking about this. This is us. This is everyone in the room who is setting up their business now. Don't give up, because it's in you not to give up. And it's not going to be easy, because you're trying to do something that nobody else has ever done. So just keep not listening to the people that say it can't happen, not... Uh, accepting each time when it comes back and it's not quite right, that you can't get it right. You will be able to get it right and not, not to give up. Second thing, then, is about being creative. Toddlers are the most creative people on this earth. They don't know that if you build a pyramid, you have, you're supposed to start with a base at the bottom. Maybe they start with a, the, the point at the bottom, or that something like that with one leg might not work. They will try it, and maybe one time out of a thousand, it will work, and it will balance on its point. And that is thinking differently, and as a small business, we've got to be creative in every which way that we look at things, because we're trying to do things that haven't been done before. Toddlers also get noticed. If anyone brought one uh, toddler now and put them in the room now, you'd forget about what I'm talking about. You'd be looking at the big smile or the tantrum or whatever was going on down there. And that's what we've got to think about as, as small businesses. We've got to get noticed. We don't have the marketing budgets that others have. We've got to find ways that some people know about what we're doing and we can get inspiration from a toddler. Toddlers also don't know how to lie yet. It's that dark art hasn't happened. I've seen it so many times with my, with my own kids when one was a toddler and one was uh, a little older and if they'd stolen like a chocolate cake or something and, and the chocolate was all around their mouth and one of them would say, or you say, did you take it? And one of them would say, no, and there's chocolate round. That's the older one. And the younger one would say, yes, I, I did because I haven't learned that yet. And I think in business where it's so easy to get caught out if you're not living by your values or you're not being honest with your staff or your customers or your suppliers or investors or anybody, then you should take inspiration from a toddler and just be honest. Uh, toddlers show their feelings all the time, and we miscommunicate so much in business by not really saying what we really mean. And I think we can learn so much from toddlers who just let it out there. I've seen so many focus groups where if they like our product, they shake, and if they don't, it's up on the walls, and uh, we certainly know how they feel. Right, we tell all toddlers all the time to play with each other and share and be nice to each other, and that goes back to my point about a team, and we achieve things through collaboration. I actually think that the future for many businesses is to collaborate with your competitors, um, but you know, at least collaborate internally and with, uh, with, you, with your customers. Toddlers also show and don't tell things. They just do it. You know, they dive right in. And I think as small businesses, we've got to do that. It's no good going to, you know, an investor and saying, well, I've got an idea that to do this and that. It's far better to go and say, I've done it. This is my idea. And look, it's sold. Um, and, and dive right in. You know, understand the consequences, but don't be frightened um, by, by the risk. But finally, you know, toddlers just have fun. Life is too short to do something that you don't enjoy. So hopefully you've all set up businesses that you're passionate about, because they're the ones that are going to succeed with, with passion, but also you enjoy doing. And those, those highs you see on those days when it all works will offset those lows when you think it's not going to work and you've got the sense not to give up. Um, but have fun. Mm -hmm.